Your support tonight helps to make possible the strategic alliance between the United Nations Foundation and the United Nations Association, which brings thousands of citizens into closer alliance with the UN. Creating the UN Foundation to support the United Nations was the best investment that I have ever made. And I made a lot of good ones. It was at this dinner 15 years ago when Ted announced the remarkable $1 billion commitment to the United Nations. Nan and I were at a table with some friends, and I could see the incredulous uh, uh, reaction. And one lady sitting next to me is asking, did he say a million? I said, no, he said, a billion. A billion? I said, yes. But it was, uh, you, you, you almost brought the roof down. Today it is clear that Ted's bold actions started us all on a new path of partnership that continues to help the UN tackle the world's toughest challenges. We cannot stand silent as long as members of our human family are being harassed, arrested, imprisoned, and even killed simply because of who they are or who they love. Their struggle is my struggle. We must be united to meet the expectation of all the people we care so much. And ladies and gentlemen, your support and your commitment can make United Nations stronger so that we can work for them. This is a special moment for me. I've come to really know and love the Arch, as he's affectionately called. I've watched him, as you're seeing in the pictures behind me, lead the elders, and we've all admired him as long as we've known about him. But I have to say, the more you know him, even more you admire him. We actually do want to see a revolution led by women. Our world needs the compassion, the generosity, the persistence and commitment that is peculiarly yours. Uh, and our world will be a better world when that happens. No situation is intractable. But it ended. It ended largely, of course, because the world said this is unacceptable. An enemy is a friend waiting to happen. Our gratitude is endless because this honor reflects the truly inspiring and essential efforts of more than 600 trusted partners including many admired UN agencies. Their missions fulfilled every day by courageous and highly capable people. We service an industry of celebrities, an industry that through a single tweet or social media post can reach millions of people instantly, people that look up to them. We're proud tonight to renew our commitment to the United Nations and the United Nations Foundation and say we will continue to be your partner in mobilizing that industry and we stand proudly behind the Secretary General and the fulfillment of the Millennium Development Goals. We promise to help our industry use their voices to shine a spotlight on the global issues that all of us need to solve together. Ted Turner said to me, oh, this is the young man who is supposed to light up the world. He said, don't listen to the naysayers. When I started CNN, they told me nobody will watch TV for 24 hours. <laughs> now you light up the world. Mr. Turner, we've just started the journey. Mr. Ban Ki-moon has given me another challenge to convert commitments now to kilowatt hours. The UN is the most important not-for-profit organization in the world and deserves the support of every world citizen. As many have said about the UN, if we didn't have it, 
we'd have to quickly build something else quite like it. The international solutions are in the national interest. If we can come to that conclusion, then we take away the artificial borderline between national and international. And you can say, like a friend of mine said, I love my country, that's why I am an internationalist. Yes, we are proud of our own nation, we have our own capacity, but in the end, we also depend on the world. Over the past four years, I've seen firsthand how active and constructive U.S. leadership at the United Nations advances U.S. strategic interests and helps us tackle the most pressing global challenges. Thanks to all of you here tonight. The proceeds of tonight's dinner will help support programs like Global Classrooms and UNA USA's educational programs.